This software transforms how photographers find clients by giving you direct access to the decision makers who can actually hire you. Looking for clients is the most frustrating part of growing a photography business. Most photographers waste countless hours searching for potential clients on Google or LinkedIn, and they end up sending emails to generic email addresses that never get responses. Inside my company, Pay Productions, email outreach is how I've landed most of my clients. And today I'm showing you the secret client finder that cuts through all the noise and connects you directly with the people who have the power to hire you. 20,546 people to reach out to. So that is a lot of opportunities to land clients here. So Norma here, we can see she is a senior marketing director at J&J Snack Foods. We can grab her email right here. All we do is click send email and we can pitch her right here and this will land in Norma's inbox, no longer worrying about landing in gatekeepers inboxes. We can directly reach out to Norma with our pitch here, which is just amazing. Now, before we dive in, why is a tool like agency access even useful for photographers? Let me break down the four ways that photographers can get clients. One is through referrals, two is through social media, three is through paid ads, and four is through outreach or cold email pitching. Now, most people will try social media, they'll post content and hope that clients find their page, but this is a long-term strategy. And it's a really strong long-term strategy, but it takes about six to 12 months to really ramp up, consistent posting every single day for six to 12 months. And it takes a long time to build up your brand and your reputation. So while you're waiting those six to 12 months for clients to come in, there are other options you can do. One is paid ads and two is outreach or cold email pitching. Now paid ads are a decent approach, but they require a significant investment upfront. It's gonna take thousands of dollars to test to actually see what works for your niche. And if you're not getting clients, this is a pretty expensive way to go about landing clients. So what I recommend doing is the fourth method and that is outreach, specifically cold email pitching. And this is actually how I've gotten most of my clients inside of Pieta Productions, my photography company. And I believe that cold outreach is the best way for photographers making under $100,000 a year to really build up their client base because social media, it takes way too long, paid ads require a significant testing budget and referrals are just inconsistent. But when creatives start doing outreach, they fall into a lot of traps here. So first they find companies they wanna work with, but they send pitches and never hear back. That's most likely because they're contacting generic email addresses that are monitored by gatekeepers and not the actual people that are running the marketing departments at these companies. So in order to overcome this, we need to have direct access to the decision makers so that our emails can get read by the people with marketing spend and the people that have these marketing problems that we can help solve with our photographer. So today I'm gonna to be showing you this tool that solved this problem for photographers and gives you direct access to the people that can actually hire you. So once you're in agency access, you're gonna be greeted with this home screen right here. So let me walk through everything here. Um, on the left side here is your navigation bar. So this is the home screen. This is what you see right now. You've also got your actual directory here. So this is where you can actually find thousands of potential clients to work with. Next, you've got your contacts. So this kind of acts like your CRM. Then you've got your lists uh, where you can organize all of your contacts that you wanna reach out to. Um, and there's also another quick link here for that. You've got your emails, so you can send emails directly through this platform. And lastly, you have your tasks, and this kind of acts as part of your CRM to stay organized with everything you have to do. Um, so on this homepage right here, you have a couple of quick links, a quick link to the directory, a quick link to the list builder, and a quick link to the directory concierge, which you can get help with anything you need around agency access, so either browsing through their database or sending a message to the team to get help uh, quickly. Um, so what I wanna focus on with this video is the creative directory. So let's open up the creative directory right here. So we'll click on the sidebar here. Let me make myself smaller here. Okay, cool. So right here is your contacts homepage within the directory. Um, on the right side is gonna be the main thing that you're gonna be playing around with. This is how you can filter by company type. You can filter by different attributes of the company, location, so whether you're in the US, Canada, UK, anywhere else in the world, you can filter by location, you can filter by the role inside of the company. So usually we're gonna be reaching out to marketing directors um, or people in charge of marketing since as photographers and videographers, we help with marketing efforts, but there are other uh, categories you can reach out to as well. Um, there's email preferences down here. There is when they were added to the platform um, and any tags if you've tagged anyone. 
So to start, let's do a very specific search and try and find our ideal client. So I'm a product photographer. I do photos and videos for CPG brands, and I really like working with coffee companies. So let's try and find some coffee companies that we could reach out to here and find the specific people at those companies who will actually listen to what I'm saying. So inside of this tab, we're gonna go to contacts. Then we're going to type coffee as our keyword. So if we type coffee, we should already start to see a bunch of contacts popping up. So we've got 115 matches so far. We're gonna to want to filter a bit more. So I wanna filter by location. So I'm based in the United States. So I'm gonna filter by United States. And then I'm gonna filter by role. So I'm gonna try and reach out to marketing people. So we're gonna click on marketing and communications. And here we've got 38 different contacts that we can reach out to in the coffee industry. So let's just click on Sophia here as an example. So we've got Sophia here. And when we click on her uh, contact card here, we're gonna see a lot. So right off the bat, if we want to pitch her right away, we can just click send email and we can send an email straight to Sophia. But there's a lot of other things I wanna show you within this contact card. So you can see what her position is. You can see where she's based. Um, you can see her social channels. So even her Instagram and her LinkedIn. So if we click on LinkedIn, we can see a profile and if we're pitching a blue bottle here, if we're pitching Sophia and she doesn't respond to her emails, what we could do is actually message her on LinkedIn. And it's gonna be like this multi-pronged approach to really show that we're passionate about working with this brand. So this is a really cool feature of agency access that I think is pretty underrated. Now let's go back to our contact card here. So right down here is probably one of my favorite features of agency access and one of the reasons why I think it's better than a lot of other softwares in the space because what they do is they actually verify these contacts manually. So they do this in-house and what they do is they verify these contacts to make sure that Sophia one actually works at Blue Bottle and two, they make sure that this is her actual email address so you know that who you're reaching out to is the real deal here. Now, you can also add her to um, different lists that you have. You can see all of your email history with her. You can tag her here. You can see contacts at other companies that are similar to hers, right? So that's very cool. Um, next, if we go into company here, so we can get more information around Blue Bottle, what it is, their website, all that good stuff here. Um, we can go to notes and tasks. So if there's anything associated with her, we can see that here. This is kind of part of your CRM. And then any history you have. So if um, anything um, that's happened with Sophia, you can see right at a glance here. So that's the contact tab and how you can search for people here. Now, if we wanted to, we could actually save this search. So if you wanted to reach out to all these companies, we can click save right here and we could call it coffee us marketing directors or just marketing here um, save search and then this will appear if we go back to our directory here um, our saved search will be uh, where is it uh, right over here so we've got the same search saved right here and we can quickly reference it and go back to it if we need to now let's explore these other tabs of the directory so we've got another tab here um, called companies and another tab called brands now brands is where i spend a lot of time because here you can search by uh, specialty so let's say we want to reach out to um, food and beverage brands so i'm a cbg product photographer um, i want to reach out to maybe some snack companies so let's see what we have here so if we click on snack companies and filter by that we're going to start to see a bunch of different companies popping up so you can see all these companies popping up and these are household names. You got Ben and Jerry's, uh, you've got Capri Sun, Cheetos, Chips Ahoy, all these companies are popping up. And what you're gonna notice on the right here is agencies. So let me explain how this works. If we click on Ben and Jerry's, we're going to see um, their profile. So their brand profile, we're gonna see contacts. So the people at Ben and Jerry's who we can contact to pitch ourselves. So we see Jay right here. So if we clicked on Jay's name, um, this is the same thing that we saw earlier with Sophia. So we see uh, Jay's info, we see his email, uh, his company, all that stuff. Um, but let's say we don't wanna reach out to Ben and Jerry's directly. Let's say we want to figure out who their agency is and pitch ourselves to their agency. Since Ben and Jerry's is already working with um, a few agencies, by clicking this account tab right here, we can see who they're working with, which is a really cool feature of this platform. So let's say um, we want to click on, we want to pitch ourselves to Arc Worldwide so that we can potentially work with Jerry's. Well, Ben and Jerry's. So what we can do here is click on contacts, see everyone that works here, and even pitch ourselves to this agency. So 
this is one of the coolest features of this platform because not only do you have brands that you can reach out to, you can see all the agencies that work with these brands. So you can either reach out to the companies directly, the brands, or you can reach out to the agencies that work with them. Um, so there's a lot of opportunities here to actually land paying clients. Now, if we click out of this, um, you can filter by a ton of different keywords here too, or sorry, different filters here. So the specialty. Um, so if we wanted to work with, let's say uh, pet food brands, we would go into um, animal products here and we would see different brands that work with pets. So we got Chewy here. Um, we got just food for dogs. We got milk bone uh, pedigree. So again, uh, there are a lot of different categories here that we can pitch ourselves to depending on what your niche is, uh, which is fantastic as photographers. Okay, so finding people is pretty simple here. How do we actually reach out to people? What do we do with all these contacts that we find? So let's go back to our coffee list that we made earlier, our coffee US uh, marketing directors list. We'll click on the button right here to select everyone. And what we can do is actually add these people to a list to kind of keep track of them in a better way. So what we're going to do here is call this list 2025 uh, Q2 coffee. So I'll create this list and then I'll click save here to add all these contacts to that list. And if we want to find this list that we just created, um, we go into the list tab right here. So right now we're in the directories tab still. So here we can see our saved searches and our recent searches. On the left side here, we've got your contacts, uh, which is everyone who you want to keep track of in your CRM. But here we have lists. So lists is where we just created our coffee list. So here you can see other lists I've made in the past. So you can see my uh, 2025 Q1 pitches list, my Q2 pitches list, uh, who I want to pitch this current quarter. And here we've got our specific 2025 Q2 coffee list. So here we've got uh, 38 contacts that we added across 25 different companies. So what we can do with this list is actually export it into a spreadsheet so we can keep track of it outside of here or use it within the platform. So if you wanted to export this list, all we'd have to do is right click right here, click export. And here it's going to ask you what you want to export. So continue to summary. Um, it'll tell you what your options are. Um, the cost to export is zero dollars here. Continue here. It's going to give you a summary of your list. And once it's done, you can just click download now and your list will be downloaded um, as a spreadsheet here, which is pretty convenient for uh, keeping track of everything. Now, if you want to send emails to people, where would we do that? Well, we can do that directly from uh, the direct directory right here. So if you wanted to find uh, Sophia, who we saved earlier, so let's pick out Sophia here, we can send an email directly from here. So if we click send email, we are greeted with this window right here. And what I love about this is we can have our own templates, which I'll get into in a moment here. You can click on your template, fill in um, all the personalized details, and then just send the email out to Sophia. What, how else can we send email? So let's discard this here. If we go down here into the email tab, here is where your emails exist. So you can see um, drafts. So this is the same as a normal email drafts folder, emails that you've started but haven't sent out yet. So all of your drafts will appear here. Uh, you can schedule emails. So here you can actually pre-schedule emails to send out a specific date. So here I've got an email going out to John Brown uh, Monday morning, and this is pre-scheduled because I want to get into his inbox Monday morning first thing. So that's what he sees. Uh, we've got another email scheduled for Laura here coming out in about two weeks here. You can see emails that you've sent here um, and you can see templates as well. So this is a template that I've created. Uh, this is one that I love using because it's pretty effective. So here I've got this template that has a strong subject line. We've got a body. Um, with a quick personalized intro section, a credibility section, and a an, uh, call to action at the end here. And what I do here is I just personalize this with a, a few different variables specific to this client so that um, the chances of them responding go way up. So with these templates, you can just use them whenever you draft an email. So if we click a uh, new message up here, you can select either an HTML template, a text template. Um, I like to use just text templates here because they seem like they're coming from a real people instead of a uh, more of a marketing thing, right? So if you want to email someone, you can just paste in their email here, um, create an email from scratch or use one of the templates that you created here, right? Um, and that's kind of the email process. Now, I prefer to email directly from the uh, the directory right here. I just find it easier. But one more thing I want to show you guys is the tasks category here. And this is 
a really important part of the pitching process because we can send that initial email, but the truth is a lot of these first emails don't get responses. The clients that I actually land as clients tend to respond to the second or third email attempt. Um, so here I've got a bunch of tasks telling me to either follow up with leads, follow up on proposals, send proposals. So um, you can see here, my next thing to do with this contact is to send the proposal. Here for Aaron, we have to prep for the discovery call. Um, here I have a task assigned to myself just to follow up with a bunch of leads. Uh, Laura here is a follow up to the email, follow up on proposal. So this is a great way to kind of stay organized. So if I were to complete one of these tasks, all I have to do is go here, um, mark that task as completed, and then this task goes into the completed category uh, right down here. So this task category, this task's view is a great way to stay organized with everything because if you're pitching uh, dozens of companies a week, you're gonna have to stay on top of who needs to get followed up with, who needs a proposal, all that stuff. So this acts as a CRM here within agency access. But let's go back into uh, the directory here real quick. I wanna show you a few more filters here that we can really use to level up our search game. So inside the agency access directory, if we click on companies, on the right side here, there are a few more filters I wanna show you. So if we go by company type and we select one of these, so let's go with corporations and click the arrow right here. You can see all these different types of corporations that pop up. So for example, if we're a food and beverage photographer, we can click on food and beverages up here. And now we've got 988 potential companies to reach out to within the food and beverage space. So whatever your space is, this is going to be a great place if you are a photographer or videographer looking to work with brands. So let's say you're in the um, cosmetics space. So if you're in the cosmetics space, you can click cosmetics here. You might be working with some other beauty products or like personal care products. So if we scroll down, we should be able to find some more filters here. So if you are in that space, you've got 1,073 uh, companies here to reach out to. If you're doing uh, jewelry, let's see if, what they have for jewelry. You've got more companies within this space. So there are all these different types of filters that you can filter by depending on what your niche is, which makes this software so, so powerful. So being able to go through these companies and reaching out to the perfect brands for you is going to be such a big uh, benefit of using a service like this. So for example, let's go with Blue Nile here. We can see what contacts are gonna be present at Blue Nile. So we'll see, um, if we click on contacts here, we can see everyone who's at this company. And then going into accounts here, we can see what agencies they work with. So we can go within this agency. And this navigation tab on the right here, it's really intuitive to use because um, what we did there, we clicked on the company, then we clicked on the agency, and then we can go into contacts right here. So it's super intuitive how this works. Um, super easy to navigate going back into the advertising agency. Uh, if you wanna go back into Blue Nile, we can. It's just so, so simple. So when you're using agency access, you're gonna be spending a lot of time in this tab right here. And it's fantastic because it has all the information you really need for these pitches. So that is agency access at a glance here. Since you're a viewer of this channel, you can use my discount code Chris30 for 30% off and try out this incredible tool. Agency access was also generous enough to make this code work on top of their 14 day free trial. The link is in the description below. My name is Chris Pieta and I will see you in the next video.